Ayo, Andy here, and I've got another product for you guys. This is the Spin Pop Alerts, which is available on the StreamUp website, uh, and also if you're supporting me or StreamUp Monthly, uh, all the links will be down in the description. Spin Pop Alerts is a, like a really cool, like minimalistic way of showing your alerts on stream so it's kind of like a little like pops in it swipes around it looks really cool all done in obs and streamer bot uh, it's five pound or you can just join monthly and get access to all our products we released codec moments yesterday minim raid out as well today there's loads of stuff coming out very 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 soon as well as i'm going through all the old projects i've recorded this live at twitch.tv forward slash andy lippy so come and follow there and you can see this stuff live and see what's coming out then um and yeah let's get into it so you just choose the spin pop alerts just here uh, this is kind of what it looks like this is obviously a slower version because um it's lower res exceldro says hi everybody um and you can find all the documentation and information about what it does what it works with and whether or not it works with your platform and not it does work for youtube as well i don't know why that just says twitch i broke the stream up website earlier so just don't worry about that okay um but you can just download it here you press download or if you're joined monthly you can press go to downloads and grab it there it'll be in here there's a load of stuff that you can get you just press download on spin pop alerts and that'll download it to install it, all you need to do is go into OBS, make sure you got the stream up plugin, which I've done videos as well. I'll put all that in the description, all the links to it. It's a really cool plugin I made that makes sure all your OBS plugins are up to date and, and all that kind of jazz. Uh, a bunch of different extra features in there. Like, yeah, there's loads of stuff. I've got a video on it as well. Uh, so we just press install product and we just need to navigate to the folder where uh, you've downloaded it to, so mine's here. So I'm just gonna go to OBS install, and then I'm gonna open the .stream up file. That will then pop up a new scene that looks a little bit like this. You don't need to edit anything on the scene at all, just leave it as is, that's it, it's installed. Next up, you're gonna jump into StreamerBot, and you're gonna go and press install. I'm just gonna delete it there so you can actually see what's happening. You're gonna press import, and then we're gonna put the file into here. So we're gonna go back to our folder where this was, go to the StreamerBot install folder, and you can either drag and drop it like that, but if it doesn't allow you to do that, you can open it up if you just double click it, it's a bunch of text. Select it all, copy it, and then you can just paste it in there as well. That does the exact same thing. And uh, we press import. It might ask you a little thing saying uh, you might need to turn something on or whatever. Just press OK. That's absolutely fine. This should work fine with the latest version of the streamer, but alpha as well as you don't have to use the old version if you don't want to. Should be fine. Something really important that I forgot to mention was the stream up library updater. This is uh, imperative that you use this, otherwise it will not work. So what you want to do is in the StreamerBot install folder, you'll have this library updater.exe that we need to copy, and then we need to go and put that where StreamerBot is on our computer. So if I go to the this PC, which mine's in the D drive, uh, so I'm going to open up the StreamerBot folder, which you'll see just here. And I actually already have it in here. So if I try and paste it, it's going to ask me to update the library just here. Uh, so I can replace the files uh, that way. Uh, and that'll, that'll basically do what it needs to do. When I open that and run it, this will check whether or not you've got the library installed. You need to make sure StreamerBot is closed and then press retry. And then once you do that, it'll allow you to, to download that file, get it installed, um, and then it will know because the library basically makes everything work inside of there. I can't show you live because I have two versions of StreamBot open at the same time, so it doesn't really work. So you need to make sure StreamBot is closed. Press retry and then install it. It it will tell you download the latest version and that's it. You only need to do that once unless there's a new update, which you'll be told about inside of StreamerBot. And once you've got that all done, you're going to press settings just here. We're going to right click on this test button and we're going to press test trigger. This has got quite a few different settings because it depends on what the alert is. You can customize the colors of everything. Um, so it's completely up to you what you do with this product. So it just takes a couple of seconds for it to load. Once it loads, it'll 
pull up a menu like this, which I've just made full screen, lol, um, where you can set your OBS connection number. This is usually zero, but you can find it under stream maps, then the OBS tab. How long you want the widget to stay on screen? So I'm going to just say uh, three seconds for now. So I'll put 3000. Put in your currency code because what this will do is if you've got a super chat or a donation, it'll automatically convert the amount of the donation into your currency that you want. So you can get a better understanding so you don't have like 10 million Ugandan dollars and you're like, oh my God, I'm a, I'm a billionaire kind of thing. It's going to be there. Do you know what I mean? Uh, the design, there's a bunch of different settings here. I'm not going to go through them all now, but you can choose different, uh, set all the event background colors to the same color. So if you just want it to look exactly the same every time, you can do that. Choose the banner. Do you want to add transparency? Basically a bunch of different settings to just change the design of it. And then you've got all the different settings for donations, Twitch alerts, Twitch subs, YouTube alerts. You change the colors of what you want each one to say, and then the text that you want it to have on the top and the bottom. And you can use the available variables just here. So I'm using username, donated, amount. Yeah, that's it. If you're happy with the defaults, they're, they're pretty generic defaults. So like green for donation, because that's money. Red for YouTube sub or red for uh, Twitch raid or yeah, I use the usually use like a color scheme. Like prime would be the blue color, uh, a prime sub. Sorry, and then once you're done, you just press the cross. That will load everything up. You should get a little system tray notification, but mine are silenced now, and it should say it's all good to go. Now, when you select the main action just here, the the spin pop alerts main action you'll have all the different triggers here. If you don't want to use some of them, you can right click and press disable or well, uncheck enabled and do it like that. Uh, I'll just trigger a couple now. Once you select one and trigger it, it will change it all like this. Uh, it'll be on screen for however long you want it. Then it'll animate it off and that's it. It's hidden until you get your next one. So this is a follow. So we've got another follow there. We'll do a gift sub. And these will all queue up based on whatever. So you got there, gifted a T3 sub, all that sort of stuff. So you've got YouTube super chats in there as well, which is really cool. And it'll basically just, yeah, do its thing. It's really cool. I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, you can then put that onto whatever scene you want because it's just a scene in OBS. You can use the downstream key plugin if you want to, or you can just go to say your just chatting scene or whatever scene you want these alerts on. Right click, press add, go to scene, and then you can add spin pop alerts to there. I'd put it wherever you want, resize it, and then when you run it again, it will then um, fix, do whatever it's doing, just there, into here, and boom. Looks pretty cool. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you do like it, consider joining monthly because I'm going to keep releasing loads of stuff like this uh, very soon, so just keep an eye out. And if you've got any questions, let me know in the comments or join either the StreamUp Discord or my Discord. Again, all links are down below or you can view my all-in-one links uh, page on uh, my Duras page, duras.2 forward slash Andy. Uh, and come and visit me live on twitch.tv forward slash Andy Lippi. I hope you guys like it. Put your rock for the stone. I'll see you soon.